And I'm Dane Bracewell, and this is my son, Everett. Chico, it's where our story began. It's where we live and where we work. And now I'm so happy to raise my family in this town that we love. And remember, in your time of need, we'll be here for you. Newton Bracewell Funeral Homes in Chico and Paradise, a growing family here to serve you. As the coronavirus continues to make headlines, we are here for you to keep you informed and safe, to help you get answers to the tough questions during this uncertain time. Tune to Action News Now for all the latest to keep you and your family safe. Join in the conversation. Like Action News Now on Facebook. Action News Now, a social you can count on. Do you like working with a local company whose core values focus on fairness, meaningful interactions, and quality work? This is why your friends and neighbors are choosing alternative energy systems. AES offers money-saving solar, battery backup solutions, automatic generators, financing and expertise in tax incentives, and a fully staffed service team. Stop by our Chico showroom or visit us online at SavingEnergyForLife.com. Covering Northern California, you're watching Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Today on Action News Now, this morning, tests are showing more cases of coronavirus here in Northern California. We break down where they are. Plus, lawmakers working to get aid to workers out of work, but their methods are drawing criticism along party lines and declaring a major disaster, a move from the president that could help Californians in need. Good morning. I'm Linda Watkins Bennett in for Julia Yarbo. Let's get started with Brian Ramsey and your forecast. That's right. If you want to head outdoors at this hour, well, you're probably going to want that jacket. It's still looking a little cold out there. We are seeing some partly cloudy skies right now from the Sugarloaf Shasta camera in Shasta County. But current temperatures, Chico sitting at 46 degrees right now. Bernie, two degrees below zero. Uh, two degrees, not below zero, two degrees below freezing, guys, uh, sitting at 30 degrees and burning. Notice those winds, though. They're calm. Those winds will be getting quite gusty as we go into the afternoon. So prepare for some gusty winds, a chance for a few thunderstorms today, tomorrow, and and on Wednesday, but most of the showers will be coming Tuesday and Wednesday. We're expecting about a quarter of an inch to half an inch of rain in the valley and maybe 8 to 12 inches of mountain snow, which is a little less than I was originally forecasting last week. So it looks like this system will have a little less of an impact than originally forecasted, but I'll let you know when you can expect to get wet coming up in just a bit. All right. Thank you, Brian. Well, Butte County public health officials have confirmed two cases of coronavirus in the county. Here's what we know so far. Public Health says the first case is a man from Chico over the age of 65. They say he's dealing with mild symptoms from the virus and is currently self-quarantined at home. Public Health also working to find out where the man became infected. The second case is an adult who also experienced mild illness. Health officials are not saying if it's a man or woman, but do say the case is travel-related. Action News Now spoke with people in Chico who tell us they're concerned but not surprised. I'm not surprised. I figured it would head up here eventually. It seems like it's spreading everywhere. It's spreading, I guess, but not... Everything's pretty dead, so, like, there's not a lot of people out right now, so I'm not super concerned, but the fact that it's spreading a little bit, I guess, yeah. Butte Public Health representatives are urging people to follow Governor Newsom's stay-at-home order right now more than ever. Action News Now is working to get more information on that second confirmed case, such as the age of the patient and where they are now. Well, there are two confirmed cases of coronavirus in Shasta County. County Public Health says a woman in her 70s tested positive and is now in isolation at a local hospital. Health officials also tell us the patient recently traveled to an area of the state where the virus is known to be present. And right now, the health department is working to identify others at risk of infection and will issue quarantine orders as necessary. The first patient in Shasta County confirmed with the virus has since recovered. Glenn, Tehama, Trinity, and Modoc all say they have no confirmed cases. Siskiyou has two, and Yuba Sutter announced its third case over the weekend. Well, one Northern California county launching a new website to keep people up to date on all things related to coronavirus. Action News Now reporter Jafet Serrato joins us to show us how it works. Jafet, what county are we talking about? Linda, leaders from Shasta County and local health agencies are working to put the website up. I actually have it right here behind me. Let's take a full screen of what this website looks like. It's called ShastaReady.org. It has a lot of important information here. If I scroll down here, you can see 